To me, what matters is if you use a plugin that's modeled after a piece of analog gear, if it sounds like what it's supposed to sound like, whether or not the knob lines up, is it supposed to be at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, is irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. What you want it to do is sound like that piece of gear and make it work as well, and in most cases, work better than the analog gear and have all the luxury of automation and recall. I have an amazing example of that with the new black box that you guys recently released. I have never used the hardware. I'm not familiar with it. I don't care. You put it on the vocal and what it does for that vocal, it takes it from, you know, it sounded great. It was recorded well. It's got nice EQ, it's got nice compression. I put it on there in two seconds. That thing is sitting here in a way that I don't know that I've ever heard a vocal do before in that regard. Let's just play it and we'll, we'll listen to it once without it and then with it. That's all I think we need to do. I feel like somebody else I don't recognize myself So now if we just put it back in, hit play I feel like somebody else I don't recognize myself It's almost difficult to describe in words what that is doing. Obviously, there's a little bit of a level jump, but it's not the level jump that is making that sound incredible. It's the harmonics of the plugin, how well the plugin is doing what it's supposed to do. I don't know what the hardware sounds like. I assume it sounds great. It's been modeled. The plugin is amazing. It's one of the best plugins I've put on a vocal in my life. There is no EQ, there is no compressor, there is no other plugin that's going to do what that's doing, and it's just incredible. Mm -hmm.